What's going on guys? Hey, it's Anthony here at The Breakout Daily. Thank you guys for tuning in today, guys. 25, 26 books back from CGC. We're gonna dive into these books. We're gonna talk about the good and the bad. This is kind of a mixed box of comics. Uh, overall, I think we're gonna have a great conversation, so stay tuned. All right, guys, so as always, if this is your first time checking this out here on YouTube, please take a moment, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing. If you wanna be notified when we drop new videos, hit the bell as well. And check us out over on Instagram at breakperiod.daily. And of course, on the WhatNot app where we sell a lot of the books you're gonna see here and some of the stuff you'll see behind me as well. Let's dive into this. Um, we're gonna do another quick unboxing here. We did get some interesting grades to put it nicely uh we're gonna kick it off with this guy spider-man number one the mcfarland run this is a newsstand i did not get graders notes on this this is one of the un unpleasant surprises to give you a little bit of a clue again newsstand spider-man number one let's see what we've got going on with this guy and this is also the new logo as well which i do love i like the new logo Bam, or the new new theme. We got a 9-0 on this book, and I'm not sure what the cause of that is. I don't see really any visible spine ticks. Um, it's nice and square corners. A little bit of little bit of a little bit of funk on the back, but not much. A 9-0 in this book, I feel is a little harsh. Um, and and I know and I get it. You're not gonna, I'm not gonna get nine eights on everything. I wasn't necessarily expecting a nine eight on this book, but a nine O oh seems a little, little tough. Let me move some stuff here. Move these out of the way. Next book is one I have sent in many times over. Super comfortable with this book uh, and confident. That is a Spider Gwen number one, the first solo series A cover on this book. There's a lot going on with this book, just like the last. Um, you've got kind of the rainbow effect going on. So you gotta be careful when you send in books like this, checking to make sure there is no uh, visible defects. What did we get on this guy? And also custom label, Spider Gwen on that guy. That my friends is a 9.8 on that book. Super cool book, Very, still very popular in my opinion. Um, and because it's modern, you want to get in that high range, nine six nine eights, and that's a perfect example. This is a New York Comic Con exclusive, um, and it is Miles Morales, Spider-Man 42. Super, super cool Yoon cover. You've got Miles Morales, you got some of the spray paint. They do have two versions of this book. One is the trade dress, and the other is the Virgin. Anyways, let's see what it is. We've got the Miles Morales up top. And you probably can't see it, but I'm looking at the back. You might be able to see the grade. And Miles is on the back as well. And it says, I am Spider-Man. Let's see what we got on this guy. Bam, another 9-8. Um, this is an untouched book. That's the thing, like on some of these books that are untouched, unread. I send them in and it's like, let's, let's hope we do well. Um, this is a part of my collection. I think I've shared this before. I'm building out the series. This completes the series. I will continue to send in some of these books as I have more. X-Men number one, the Jim Lee run. Um, first appearance of a bunch of a uh, bunch of different characters. Anyways, there's four main covers to this that are connecting. I have them all in newsstand. And I've only gotten one 9.8 so far. The rest are 9.6s. They're gorgeous books. Let's see what we got on this guy another 9.6. So unfortunately, we did not get a 9.8. However, this finishes the four piece set until I uh, continue to send some in, hoping for a 9.8. I love that series. Um, this is probably one of the, one of the bigger unpleasant surprises. So we had the Spider-Man one by McFarland newsstand that was a 9.0. I'm not sure why. This one, I also did not get graders notes. Let me verify that real quick. I don't think I got graders notes on any of these books, which is abnormal. Um, but this next one, I'm gonna tell you right now, is not a 9.8. Um, and it, <laughs> the grade I got, I was not expecting. 
And that should be a little bit of an indicator that it went in the wrong direction. So let me log in, let me check. I'm pretty sure I did not get graders notes on this series. Let me make sure. Actually, just click over on one. One second there, here we go. Let's see. Oh no, I did. Oh, I did get greater note. This is the only one I did. It says light creasing the cover and light scuffing. Oh, I see the light, very light scuffing. I don't see the creasing, but that is the Miles Morales Spider-Man one. What did they give on this book? Again, no ticks. Very, very light scuffing on the number one located up here. Another custom label. We got an 8-0, which is like very surprising in not a good way. An 8-0 light scuffing and yeah, I don't know. They, they must be coming down pretty harsh with some of the grading. All right, let's do this next one. Web of Spider-Man 32, one of my favorite covers. Mike Zek, of course. Bam, you got Spidey coming out of the grave in the black suit, classic cover. This has been homage several times. What did we get on the web of Spider-Man 32? We got a 9.6 and that is a direct edition, beautiful book. Stoke for that one. All right, let's, uh, let's see what else we got here. Uh, this is another one not a lot of people know about this book. Um, I really like it. This is Infinity Wars. Uh, Arachnite 1, the design variant. Right there. So this is a combination of essentially Spider-Man and Moon Knight. Super, super cool. You don't see this very often. And it is the design variant. I think it's a 1 in 10. And what did we get on the Arachnite? Bam. 9-6 on that guy. Um, again, no graders notes. I think that 8.0 is the only book, I'm almost positive, that's the only book in this whole shipment that got graders notes. All right, let's do this next one. Jessica Jones, number one, David Mack, absolutely killed it on the cover of this book. First full solo series of Jessica Jones. What did we get on this book? Bam, got a 9.8 on this one as well. So nice on that one. This next book, I think I can save that one for last. That's a, cool, that's a cool book. Let's do those two are cool books. So let's dive into the main box here. Let me grab this one. X Force 11, first appearance of the real Domino. That is our next book right there. Domino, we saw in Deadpool. She didn't. Awesome, I, I love the character and how they did it. Let's see what we got. Bam, nine, six on that guy. Nice book. Nine, six, great grade. Keep it going, let's keep it going. All right, this next one, I was, I was hoping for a nine, eight. So that's an indicator I did not get one. Weapon H, number one, Crate and Clean, blah, blah, blah. Clayton Crane cover, absolutely freaking gorgeous book. Um, let's see what we got on this guy. Weapon H, number one, guys. What did we get? Another nine, six on this one as well. It's still a gorgeous book, and a lot of these, by the time this video comes out, they'll all be selling most of these, not all of them, on the WhatNot app. All right, next one. This book's been hot and cold and all over the place. Still a highly sought after book. All new Wolverine, number one, first, first Laura Kinney as the new Wolverine. There it is. Gorgeous book. What did we get on this one? Bam, a nine, six on that one as well. So you can, you're kind of seeing a theme and we're gonna talk about that here momentarily. You're seeing a little bit of a theme with this run of CGC books. Um, let's do, try to speed it up a little bit here. Boys introductory, uh, number seven, Kirkham Battle Damage Virgin, color. There it is right there, gorgeous book. Love the battle damages. What did we get on this guy? Bam, a nine eight on that guy. 
I think I have almost the full, the full series, the full set of these books at this time. We're pretty darn close. That book started sliding there. I didn't want it to fall off. All right, next one in the running. Actually, I was this one I was happy for this grade because I wasn't sure because it had a little crease in it in a one tick. So that is Carnage Mind Bomb from 1996. I freaking love this book. Um, if you guys haven't seen this book, it, it again, it's from 96. Kyle Hott's cover, just freaking awesome, awesome. Look, what do we get on this? It does have a tick. Nine, six on that guy as well. Foil cover. I That I am totally happy with a nine, six on that one. In fact, I thought I was going to go a little lower than a nine, six. So sometimes you get the surprise in on, on the good stuff. Here is another cool one. And this, I believe, is limited. Should be the limited one. This is the boys number three. Foil, foil goodness in a 9.8. So foils like this, I, like, I'm stoked to have this in a 9.8. There it is. Said it before. Kind of, kind of cut it short on that one. 9.8 um, on that guy. Beautiful book. Battle damage. Foil. Uh, some of the foil stuff's hard to get in high grade unless that book is just perfect. All right. Some of these I haven't, I haven't even seen yet. This, I showed some of these yesterday, and then here we are right now. Let me grab this one. This is What If Planet Hulk number one. I love this cover. This is just a great, freaking great cover. Um, yeah, let's see what we got on this. What If Planet Hulk number one. Bam. A 90 on that beautiful book as well. it going this is i thought that this is an incentive i could be wrong but this is a badass cover silver surfer rebirth number one and this is the uh claudio contelli wrap around like look at this book you've got obviously silver surfer ripping around but then you've got galactus on the back and i like these wrap arounds especially if you have a slab because you get to utilize both sides of it. You've got a badass Galactus on the back. Anyways, number one, what did we get on this guy? Bam, a 9.8 on that one as well. That is a freaking badass cover though. Galactus, Fantastic Fours down on the bottom here. And then of course you got what the, uh, oh, I just lost my, lost my thought there. Beautiful, beautiful book. Keep it going, keep it going. All right, this one's unfortunate because uh, I sent this in right before the news broke. That is We Live, number one, third printing. Right there. And then this was in the works, Aftershock Comics, um, I believe, ended up going under. So I don't know where the IP is or what's going on with that. Maybe they bought it. Third printing, this is a nine eight as well still a beautiful book hopefully the ip uh continues to be in development maybe they buy the whole rights to it i don't know how that works or what they're doing or if someone's trying to buy them out or what what's going on with that but there it is nine eight fourth printing we have what is this one young avengers number nine super scroll appearance on this one right there beautiful book this is a nine, six on that guy. I think that is also, I might be wrong, but I think that might be the Kate Bishop costume. That might be the Kate Bishop costume as well. All right, this next one, let's see what do we got. Infinity Gauntlet one, Scotty Young variant. Freaking love this cover. Come at me, bro from 2015, freaking love it. Thanos, come at me, bro, hard to beat. Infinity Gauntlet 1 from 2015, bam! We got a 9-6 on that one. All right, what else do we got in the box? We're down to a handful of books here. 
this is one of my one of my many many favorite books here. This is haunt number one, right there, right there. So beautiful book from 2009. If you guys are familiar with this book? I mean, it's Robert Kirkman, McFarlane, Capullo, Otley, just a ton of incredible talent. This is a nine eight on that guy. Freaking love it. Pick that one up. We only got a couple more left, guys. Let's see. Here is. Let's do. Oops. Maestro number one. Trade dress on this one, Clayton Crane. Maestro number one. This is a nine six. Unfortunately, not sure what held that one back, but. It is a 9.6, absolutely incredible artwork. Okay, we only got a couple more in the box and then I've got two really cool slabs I wanna share with you. Oh, this one's actually super cool as well. This I was uh, I'm super happy with. It does have one ding I guess I did not notice in it. Anyways, Blade, Sins of the Father. This is the movie theater edition. Movie theater edition. I've got a couple of these. I've got a Venom version of this as well. Um, that's a theater edition. A lot of these books didn't make it out of the theater in one piece. Because people roll them up, throw them in their pocket. What did we get on Blade, Sins of Our Father, number one, from 1998? Theatra version. My friends, we've got a beautiful 9.6. Super happy with the 9.6 on that book. Um, I was glad I got that book. I like, I like kind of that, that, limited scarce books that is one of them we're down to two in the box and then i got two more right here to share with you this is uh, another one that's in development right now i think this could be really big especially if they stick to it um that is this is cover a first print geiger number one in a nine eight super stoked to see what they do with this ip didn't even take the thing off um super stoked to see what they do do with this IP. I think they can do a lot of really cool things. Um, the next one was my last not good surprise. Um, this again, I didn't get notes on it. I guess a little ding, I guess it's just the very corners because this is a pretty clean book, a little, a little dirty on the back, but nothing crazy. This is Web of Spider-Man 31. Web of Spider-Man 31. Direct edition. This is part of the Craven story. What did we get on this guy? Bam, a 9-0. So, I mean, they're... I don't know that I necessarily agree with it, uh, but they're, like, not hesitant to throw 9-0s on books that may or may not deserve a 9-0. All right, we got two books left, guys. Um, let me do this modern book, and then we're going to do a book from 1983. Let's do this. Um, all right. This is uh, Spider Gwen number one. So he sent in two Spider Gwens. I showed the one earlier from 2015. This is the uh, port uh, Porcato variant cover, but it is the recalled edition. So they recalled this book. There wasn't a ton of them. There isn't a ton of them out there. I did get the custom logo on it, little Spider Gwen on it. What did we get on the recalled book? Let's see. Bam, beautiful 9-8 on this recalled Spider-Gwen. We got one book left. Uh, one of the most excited books I was once I got the grade back. I knew this is a high grade book. Hands down, I knew it was high grade, but I was super, super stoked for what we got. That is Marvel Tales number one. This is a gorgeous book. Absolutely gorgeous book. Nice and tight, binding, just beautiful book. It is off-white to white pages. What did we get on this? We got a 9-8, first Peter Porker, Marvel Tales number one. First appearance of Peter Porker, the Spider Ham from 1983. Super stuck. This is going into the PC, at least for now. Guys, that is the books we got. I know we did a quick run through. I'm gonna end up doing more of the dramatic and uh, B-roll stuff here in the near future. Got a lot of stuff going on. We're trying to do, we're trying to ramp up so we can start trying to do two videos a week on the YouTube channel. 
and that's that's kind of what we're we're gearing towards so i got to make some changes on how and when we do certain things but nonetheless guys if you have not subscribed yet hit the subscribe button down below check us out over on instagram at break period out daily and then of course on the whatnot app at breakout daily guys thank you so much if you've got any questions comments drop them down below and guys we'll see you in the next video